Hey friends, welcome to my channel. I'm sure that if you're here and you're new, you are probably in love with the hot cocoa bars and so the title probably grabbed your attention. So be sure to hit the subscribe button before you leave and I'm going to show you how I put my hot cocoa bar together, some of the ingredients, and if you stick around towards the end, I'll show you how we made some dipped spoons for the station as well. And if you're interested in all of that, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so here's an overview of the cocoa bar and pretty happy with how it turned out. I kind of wish I would have had a table runner now, um, just a little one underneath here just to break up the granite, but let's take a closer look. So this first item is just one of the Dollar Tree containers and I just added a sticker and some ribbon around the top, some marshmallows, of course my Hobby Lobby cup the jingle all the way. On the three-tiered stand, I have a barn, a joy, hope, and believe sign, little red truck full of the spoons that I made with my sister and kids. I just covered some styrofoam in the buffalo check print paper. I added this Merry Christmas buffalo check ribbon. And then on the second tier, another styrofoam wrapped in the buffalo check, the red truck um, corresponding piece, salt pepper shaker with the barn. They came together and they were from Home Goods. I have a little tin. This was from Hobby Lobby. It was a two pack. And my sister made some signs, so our last name, the Christmas tree farm. I've got some peppermint stir sticks in this red truck coffee cup, which I want to say this was from Joanne's with the mint chocolate candy canes. Back here, just a little Santa hat and some greenery. Some greenery here. Up here, I have the little container of sprinkles. That came in a four pack with some other ones from Home Goods. This little container, milk container with a tree in it, some disposable cups, and then when I have out the traditional cocoa, that'll be the sign that I used. So that's my three-tiered stand. This garland, I just hung with some lights from Target um, with some command hooks. Just wrapped the underneath of the counter. With that, added a few ornaments. There's a little snowman. I want to see he's from the Dollar Tree. And then this cute little cocoa lid that was from Gerbs. Okay, and next to the three-tiered stand, I have a raspberry terrini syrup and then a salted caramel. And I don't know if you guys have tried the salted caramel, but when you open it up, 
And it smells like it's an adult salted caramel. It's very, very strong. And then if you guys can see the hot cocoa, old fashioned hot cocoa served here. My sister made that sign for me. I thought she did a really good job. She purchased the plaque from Walmart and then just added her stencil, or she stenciled it on. She created the stencil, it's pretty cool. On the top, we've got the white chocolate chips and just a Dollar Tree 10. And then I added the little Christmas tree to the top and a little wreath. Um, this is a Starbucks container, the little glass drinks. And I just wrapped some Buffalo Check, added a little wreath with some straws. These were from Grandson. Look like little ornaments of sugar. I have a container of chocolate chips. And inside each of these containers is this really cute scoop. It's perfect size, just enough, and they fit really nicely in there. So each of these containers has one of those. I got those from Amazon. Super happy with that product. Okay, and so I got those um, scoops from Amazon. Then I've got just a few little extra ornaments sitting around. This was from the dollar spot maybe last year. Could have been this year, I'm not sure, at Target. Then on the second layer, just another ornament. I have the mini marshmallows. I did this little container from the Dollar Tree. This is the one that doesn't have the sprinkle top. And I added some trees to it. A peppermint chips with a wreath and trees. Trees don't quite fit underneath here, so I had to make it work. Another little ornament. And then there is a set of bells behind there. This cute little ski set here came from Dollar Spot this year. And then this tray was also from the Dollar Spot, and I just wrapped it in some ribbon and added some of their chip lab words on it. And then my sister and I, we made the marshmallows, so I've got some marshmallow stir sticks and chocolate here. I've got a store-bought salted caramel hot cocoa, one of my favorite cups with the little mousse, and the argyle tree that came from TJ Maxx, I believe with this Dollar Tree sled. Um, and of course I have, okay, of course I have my red chuck in my Keurig. And this is the Christmas cocoa. It's just in a vacuum sealed thing, nothing super cute. Little tree, cute little sign that I've added. And this recipe for the Christmas cocoa, I have to find out what her name was, but it turned out really good. It has a hint of cinnamon and my co-workers really liked it. These Santa boots here, this was from the dollar spot, and I just put in some of the sticks and pretzels um, that we had made this weekend. And then this is the one really cute sign that I got from Gordman's. It's a, um, it's kind of like bent, beveled, whatever, and then I've got this one up here. It says reindeer crossing. Candy Cane Lane and Santa's Workshop, and I think this was a Walmart one, and it's actually like a yard steak one, but I made it into a hanging one. So there is a look at the Christmas Cocoa Bar as it stands right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We've got the dipped marshmallows that my sister and I made, and then this really cute, one of my favorite cups, the mousse with the... Um, Plaid at the top, the argyle, and then the argyle type tree on it, which is really cute. And I love that it's not a normal shape. And I've got it filled with caramel kisses and hot cocoa kisses, which we all love those. Okay, guys, that completes my tour of my 2018 hot cocoa bar. So if you're interested in watching us make some chocolate dip spoons, pretzels, and some chocolate candies, then just keep watching. For this project, we used wooden spoons that we had found on Amazon. We made salted caramel spoons, which were my favorite. We made chocolate salted spoons, chocolate salted caramel spoons. We made chocolate marshmallow spoons. 
white chocolate peppermint spoons, and I think that's it. We melted some almond bark and put it in these little candy molds and put little Christmas toppers on. We made chocolate dip marshmallows using the cake pop sticks from Amazon. And then we also made some dipped pretzels and we just dipped those in the almond bark and rolled them in some marshmallows and peppermint just for a different variety.
And then we wrapped the spoons and the pretzels, and I found the perfect size bags on Amazon as well. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did putting it together. I am really loving the YouTube community and idea concept, so I plan on continuing this, this journey. And I hope that you come along with me. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you.